you know, I was hoping after the trailer for the Switch came out that we would stop with a lot of the rumors since everything would, you know, kind of be out in the open. But since Nintendo failed to tell anybody about, uh, well, much of anything about the Switch other than what it looked like and it removing from a TV and going, you know, handheld, they didn't say anything about the specs or, you know, how fast or powerful it would be. So, of course, we still have rumors about what's going to be in the system and how it's, you know, how fast it's going to be. So, of course, there is a Twitter handle, Emily Rogers, who claims to have a lot of insider information. Now, it's it's good to note here, uh, this Twitter handle was able to uh, basically predict, uh, with, with what they say is insider information, a lot of what we saw in the trailer, pretty much to a T. So, this Twitter handle seems to have a lot of good information uh, from what they say are inside sources, who knows, but they seem to be right about a lot of stuff before it's actually announced. So, in their latest tweet, they came out and said that the the new Switch will have 4 gigs of RAM in the retail units. Now, a lot of the dev units went out and they had 4 gigs of RAM. Now, dev units, uh, for some of you guys who don't know, are usually more powerful than the actual retail units. Uh, so that you can do things like, you know, computations and code while in game. The dev units had 4 gigs. Apparently, the retail units will also have 4 gigs of RAM. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's going to have twice as much as the Wii U has. However, it'll have half as much as what the Xbox One and the PS4 have. Does that really make a difference? Uh, no, honestly, it doesn't. We, we're all kind of thinking it'll have Wii U-like graphics on the go, probably a little better. And honestly, 4 gigs of RAM will be used more for like OS and things like that. And there's other bigger bottlenecks to worry about than the RAM. For example, we don't know what the CPU is going to be, but we're pretty sure it's going to be a mobile-like CPU. So in this case, 4 gigs of RAM for a mobile-like CPU is plenty. It's, it's enough. Uh, a lot of the stuff that the PS4 and the Xbox One are using their RAM for is a lot of uh, operating system, you know, uh, operating system computations, things like that, that are going on in the background, especially the Xbox One, since it's running kind of a toned down version of Windows 10, essentially. So it needs that extra RAM to do that, whereas the NX may run a little lighter since they'll be running a much, I don't want to say lower end operating system, but definitely a less stressful operating system. The PS4 also... Uh, relegates some of its RAM to the operating system. So when in game, it doesn't use that full eight gigs. So four gigs for the uh, for the Switch, it should be plenty to be honest, especially to get the kind of games running that they want to run. You know, games that aren't as graphically intensive as what you see on the PS4 and the Xbox One will run fine with four gigs of RAM. Not to mention the carts and stuff that they're accessing the information from. There's a good chance they will they'll read fast enough to where it won't have to load every single thing into RAM. So there's a good chance that's fine. Speaking of which, storage. They've also reported that there will probably be about 32 gigs of in-store, like, storage in the system. Now, 32 gigs in this day and age is not a lot. Not if that's your main storage for games, for saves, for digital downloads, any of that stuff. There's a good chance that will not be enough. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that we have some sort of SD card, like just standard SD card across the board here. I don't want some weird, like how the Vita had, you know, obviously some, some proprietary storage that was way too expensive. We're hoping we just get SD cards and we can just use those to save games, um, download digital uh, games, things like that. And don't leave us just with 32 gigs of storage. That, that just won't be enough. Not with how big the games are if they want to go any type of digital now i know they want to sell cartridges but if they want to give us the option to buy digitally they need to make sure we have enough space now if a game is going to clock in at 8 to 10 gigs possibly more there's a good chance we're going to run up that 32 gigs with three games uh, because you'll have to save some of that you're not going to get the full 32 gigs you'll probably get like 27 or 28 gigs after the os is installed but we need more space, so I hope there's an SD card slot somewhere on there, and don't put some proprietary memory card out. We Everyone should have learned their lesson with the Vita. So it looks like 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs onboard storage. 4 gigs is fine, 32 gigs is not. So I'll keep you guys up to date about anything else. I really, really want to see some kind of leak or confirmation about what the processor and the GPU is going to be. I just want to know 
at this point, how powerful it's going to be. There's so many rumors going around about Tegras and GTX 1050s and stuff being in there. And I just want to know how powerful this thing's going to be and, and how well it'll render these graphics on battery power. So stay tuned, subscribe, definitely subscribe. So you can see any of the videos coming out about the NX and the switch. Well, I guess switch at this point because I'll be reporting as I see it come out. So get subscribed, like the video if you like it, and I will see you guys next time.